G'day, this is Carl Thompson from Storagecraft Australia New Zealand and today I'm glad to be presenting to you an update for Storagecraft Image Manager 7. Now Image Manager 7 came out in April 2016 and it's got some massive new updates to the user interface, some enhanced verification functionality, some cool new ways to manage the folders um, as we scale out into much larger environments and also some free functionality that used to be licensed features of Image Manager. So let's dive straight into look at a demonstration of this. Okay, so here's the Image Manager interface. Now, if you've previously been using Image Manager version 6 and you've upgraded to version 7, this is the first thing you'll notice here is this folder that's named Auto Manage Off. So what's happened is it has brought across my managed folders from version 6, but it's detected that there is a parent directory or share that contains these folders. And what this simply means, if I right click and go down to Properties, is that I can enable subfolder auto manage. So now with Image Manager 7, we have the ability to manage a single directory and call it a backup store, which will enable it to auto manage any subfolder within that. This is a really powerful functionality. This really complements the shadow control policy based backup job scheduling with SPX because that enables SPX to automatically create these subfolders. So again, by having Image Manager Manager Backup Store means we can very easily deploy the Shadow Protect software using the policies, we can deploy backup jobs and now Image Manager can automatically start managing those directories. So this is a really big upgrade. This really helps our partners that are perhaps replicating a lot of customers into, their, into a data center or even for our larger customers where they're managing 50, 100 or even more um, managed folders, we can now just simply manage these stores to really simplify that process. So just backing up a step here, that is one of the key things there is the backup store. Something else you'll notice is this view and there's a couple of buttons along the top here. So we've changed the user interface a little bit. One of the cool things is with this view is we can very quickly drill down to what's going on. I can create a view that just shows me my replication jobs, a view that just shows me warnings. So it's expanded out and showing me the folders with warnings here. These folders have uh, in, they've been inactive, so there's no new backups in them. Folders with errors, there's none popped up here. But I can very quickly filter to just look. Maybe folders with active running tasks would be a, a useful one to see what's going on. So that's really nice. Um, we've got the ability here um, with this icon to start managing a folder. So let's just run through this quickly. If I start managing a folder and I'm going to drill down and select this directory, I drive backup store. Um, I can give it a description and then folder type, I will call this a backup store. So as it suggests, subfolder auto manage is enabled. So this is automatically going to detect the subfolders here and start managing them for me. Um, these are the usual um, authentication functions if it was on a NAS or specifying my passwords. Under verification, there is also um, some new functionality here. So I've got the basic verification that we're already familiar with, with verifying images and periodically re-verifying. But down here, we've got advanced verification. So this was new with Image Manager 7. When you enable this, it gives us a note explaining that this currently requires Oracle VirtualBox to be running on the same machine as Image Manager. And this will allow us to either daily, weekly by default, or monthly, automatically virtual boot these backups when they're created. So this is the consolidated images that get created at midnight. It can automatically virtual boot them. It will leave the network adapter disconnected so there's no impact to production. And after a period of minutes, and by default it's five minutes, it will automatically take a screenshot and email it off to your um, your defined email address and image manager notification settings. So this is a really great way for automated testing on a daily, weekly or monthly basis. This could be done on site at each of your customer sites or it could be done at the off site location of the partners. If you're replicating to a data center, you perhaps could have this function running here. At some stage, 
Um, hopefully this will support our Hyper-V and now VMware virtual boot options as well. But today, version one, this requires the Oracle VirtualBox tool to perform the virtual boot. So this is a really great tool for automated testing and verification of the backups. We will significantly enhance this functionality with some form of disk check and other bits and pieces in the future as well. So watch the space. It's going to be a really great time for this whole automated testing and verification process. And then, of course, we've got the retention override. Now, any settings we define here for the backup store will automatically get applied down to any of the subfolders. So I'm just going to go ahead here and click Save. We can see here it has added the backup store directory, and then it has automatically pulled in the two subfolders that's found there. Now, these don't have any images in them at this time, but if I just expand out one of these folders, you'll note there are the three jobs that automatically run, the verification, the consolidation, the daily, weekly, monthly consolidation, and then the retention setting, which defines how long we want to keep the backups for. So this is all standard functionality that you're used to within Image Manager 6, um, except we're, we're displaying this slightly differently. When jobs are actually running, we'll see to the right-hand side of those jobs the progress and the status of them, so that is really useful. And I guess probably the final really major enhancement to Image Manager 7, if I jump down to licensing, is that intelligent FTP, network drive replication, and Head Start Restore are now free. There is no licensing required unless you're wanting to use the Shadow Stream replication technology. So this is really great. It means we can now replicate our backups off-site at no cost or to another NAS, or we can use the Head Start Restore functions. So this can be driven by the right clicking on a directory and clicking Create Job for either replication or Head Start Restore, or simply up the top here, we have the little shield here for replication job, or the little green arrow there for creating a Head Start Restore job. So these are now free in Image Manager 7. Anyone can upgrade their versions to Image Manager 7 on site to take advantage of this right away. So thanks for your time. Again, my name's Carl Thompson from Australia, New Zealand, and this is just a quick update to show you what's new for Image Manager. Thanks for your time.